What's good, y'all? It's your man Sam, and here at Viral Hip Hop News, go ahead and hit that like button, and make sure you hit the notification bell to get all the latest notifications every time I drop a video here on the platform. I do appreciate it. All right, I ain't gonna lie to y'all out there. People, I miss doing this right here. We've been real busy dropping nonstop interviews with rappers, R&B singers, Hollywood legends, athletes. I mean, you name it. We've been blessed enough to have them on the platform. You guys been seeing the interviews. So fortunate to have them on there. So fortunate to be recognized. We're doing the damn thing. But we did not forget. We have not forgotten to get down to the latest news in hip hop. We've talked about this on numerous occasions. Ice Cube being very vocal after seeing the murder of George Floyd out in Minnesota. Ahmaud Aberry. I mean, you name it. The list goes on and on. We've been quiet for so long. We've been quiet for too long. And finally, enough is enough. You see people starting to speak up. Now, Ice Cube being one of these people that has been speaking up since the beginning of time. I mean, one of the founding members of NWA, F the police. Who you think wrote that? None other than Ice Cube. Now, he's been chilling as of late, producing, doing his movies, kind of staying on the peaceful kill. But I guess this has woken up a sleeping bear, like our man D. Ray Davis quoted on the platform you guys see that quote up top man it really got him hot he's been going at the elite going at the higher ups in the government the last couple of weeks on twitter and ig and yesterday he dropped a quote on his ig i'll drop that for you guys up top that really caught my attention he said i'm seeing a lot of police reform talk and community outreach initiatives but to really start to fix the sins of the past the u.s needs a contract with black america top to bottom change i've created a document that i will release tomorrow that will start the conversation. Now, Ice Cube was very serious about that. If you go to the link in his description box of his IG, you will clearly see that he has outlined a contract with Black America for the government. And I will read the contract out loud. You guys can follow along with me if you don't mind. Be a little patient. It is quite lengthy, but it's very informative and I think it's very important. So let's check it out right now. This is a contract with Black America addressing racially and inequality. After 400 years of unequal treatment, black Americans have had enough with gradual reform in a nation that prides itself as the world's greatest democracy. While well-intentioned solutions may have been tried, it is simply too much to ask an oppressed people to stay patient. To finally create the more perfect union all Americans deserve, it is time for a complete paradigm shift in how we run our institutions and operate our country. While this contract with black America may seem radical to some, the result will be harmonious, a harmonious society that benefits everyone rather than the more radical alternatives, which is watching the great American experiment come apart at the scenes. Now it says black opportunity and representation, systems of reparation, a commission required to determine how such reparations are to be distributed Funds must be distributed to black Americans within a year after the commission is established. Affirmative action for all secondary schools, colleges, and universities, public and private. Black enrollment must meet or exceed the percentage of black population nationwide, 13.4%. In addition, if the black population in the country, the school is located, is greater than 13.4%, the enrollment must be increased to that higher percentage. However, 25% black enrollment will satisfy the country requirement and the school can prove that they are a national school with less than 30% enrollment from the state the school is located. The same guidelines that apply to students will also apply to faculty, mandatory civil rights and anti-racism training in all elementary schools. Black scholars will write the textbooks and curriculum adopted by these classes. Black representation on all government civil rights investigate bodies reform gerrymandering districts cannot be designed to minimize the impact of the black vote more polling states in minority and black neighborhoods so that the number of polling stations provide equal access to black voters as they do white and other communities lack of access violates the 1965 voters rights act and the act should be amended to give it more teeth since it is currently not working juneteenth to become a federal holiday equal health care facilities in all neighborhoods regardless of demographics massive bank lending and finance reform while capitalism is a good system it requires capital to participate redlining 
was a prevalent bank system years ago of minimizing loans to hazardous neighborhoods which were unusually defined as those predominantly black or Jewish, while redlining was made illegal in 1968 with the passage of the Fair Housing Act and then again in 1977, Community Reinvestment Act, CRA. Statistics show that perpetuation of de facto redlining in many of the same communities, most notably black communities, still exist. Studies consistently show blacks are denied access to lending in roughly the same percentages as before the acts passed. The results in white families have nearly 10 times the net worth of black families today. As an example, even when black families get home mortgages, nearly 20% pay on average 1.5 points above the average offer to whites. And although the black population is roughly 13.4% of the nation, approximately only 3% of loans and credit are given to black people, whether for credit cards, home mortgages, or black owned businesses. Blank lending on a yearly basis by percentage of dollar amount must match the black population in communities which the banks serve. However, the minimum threshold must yearly meet the percentage equal to the national bank population, currently approximately 13.4%. As the black population increases, this minimum threshold will increase. Yearly audits and banks not meeting the minimum standards face loss of bank charters. To be crystal clear, every bank in the United States each year must lend in each category of loan, credit, mortgage, etc. a minimum of 13.4% to black-owned businesses or individuals across the category or instrument of financing involved. Rates on black loans federally and foreign banks to be at the same average rates as whites, change the decades-old credit scoring model to mandate consideration of consumer data on rent, utility, and cell phone bill payments. Additional financing reform, a cookie jar company, is a company that was knowingly involved in human trafficking, human bondage, slave trading, or slave labor at any point in its existence. Companies found to have directly benefited by the private prison system and those who have perpetrated overly or overtly racist policies will also be considered cookie jar companies. Individual negotiations will be conducted by a commission form for the singular purpose of assessing penalties and the remedies from these companies caught with their hands in the cookie jar. VC and private equity funds that take money from police unions or other public entities must invest 13.4% of their total funds in black owned businesses According to the Axis, 1% of VC-backed founders were black between 2000 and 2018. Corporations are publicly regulated as a part of the certification process. All past and current tax returns must be made public. Audit of opportunity zones to determine who is benefiting from the distribution or dis disbursement of such funds and tax breaks and public disclosure of the owners and projects granted such access. Y'all gotta excuse me, this is small as hell, but I'm almost done. Appreciate y'all sticking around. Now, judicial and public policy reform recognize racism as a public health crisis that mandates a federal response, ban all privately run prisons, fines established to be paid by companies who profited off the private prison system. Prison labor not allowed without consent, prisoners, to be compensated at the minimum wage and hazardous pay provided for all applicable duties, declare the KKK a terrorist organization, lynching to become a federal hate con with a recommended federal sentence of life, free nonviolent offenders incarcerated for 10 years or longer who have less than five variable write-ups, write-ups can be challenged and given due process, free all prisoners for marijuana possession, Eliminate laws establishing mandatory minimums. Eliminate three strike laws. First offense for legal drug use or possession to require government payment for the entry into a approved drug rehabilitation program rather than imprisonment. DOJ Civil Rights Division reformed through stricter guidelines so that DOJ oversight of the police departments and other government institutions become more than a rubber stamp. DOJ can be sued for noncompliance so that the standards do not vary depending on administration. Currently, the black population is overrepresented in the military as 17% of soldiers are black. The percentage of black enlisted soldiers is even higher. 
to compensate for this disproportionate contribution to our national defense, 5% of the Defense Department budget will be allocated towards beautification, education, and youth programs in predominantly black neighborhoods. Such programs will build goodwill toward the countries, resulting in greater patriotism, more successful recruitment efforts, and a generally more enthusiastic military population. EPA to inspect waterfall supplies in all communities nationwide for the lead and other forms of contaminates. Fixing polluted water to deliver clean water will take priority in any further infrastructure spending bill. Constitutional amendment condifying expansion of the 13th Amendment by the courts. Amendment will abolish slavery in any form, including as a punishment for crime as allowed by the 13th Amendment for prison inmates. Further, it will declare unconstitutional at any government run system, including justice policy, education, health and welfare, etc. That does not provide services on equal basis to all citizens and communities. It provided public services fail to meet minimum standards. They will can be considered on their face unconstitutional unless proven special circumstances now reverses burden of proof to those in non-compliance instead of civil rights lawyers having to prove systems are racist while courts have expanded the interpretation of the 13th amendment to provide some of these rights this amendment will eliminate any uncertainty entertainment industry reform and reparations mandatory funding of black studios by the largest hollywood studios recorded company and television studios and networks to compensate for years of lack of support stereotyping and damage to black culture each will be required to fund a yearly amount or an amount yearly. Black studios will own and produce content by black creators and will be run primarily by black leadership. Content can be licensed to major studios for a race to thrive. It must be able to create art that reflects its own views of the world. Racism still runs rampant through our society and Hollywood is providing an instruction manual licensing of public airways to broadcast networks such as nbc fox cbs abc must have black produced content equal to 20 percent of the total content of the network as measured by time time slots must be similar must be of a similar quality to other content the same applies with radio stations and other media given access publicly licensed airways by the fcc minimum 13.4 percent black cast and crew on all major television and pill productions monuments and institutions this is the last part of the contract appreciate all y'all sticking around with me ice cube was not playing we needed a plan god damn it and this seems like a very good one he says eliminate all confederate and overly racist statues rather than destroying them they are to be kept by national archives Smithsonian, smithsonian institute and analog state facilities they are not to be only in displays and exhibits designed to investigate our racist past. This is not sanitizing our past as history exists in books and online. There's no need to display monuments of these types just as we allow the Saddam Hussein statue to be removed as well as the Berlin Wall where doors easily been could have been inserted. All uses and displays of Confederate flags on government grounds or on property with public Access is illegal. Rename all the street schools, public structures, town scholarship, etc. Named after Confederate soldiers and leaders. Rename with black heroes. Memorial built in Washington, D.C. to the victims of police excessive force, force excuse me, resulting in death or permanent disability. Analogs to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial is that all names and ages are included oh god and i have a lot of conversation i'm not gonna hold you guys long that was very lengthy appreciate y'all that stuck around go ahead and hit that like button that subscribe button y'all already know what to do the baddest goddamn platform out here y'all know this is what needed to be done talk about it all the time protesting the great sometimes you got to burn some shit down and have people hear you we get all that but after all of that after the ashes are settled after everything is done and after we have ears open what's next we needed something we needed a plan we needed something a course of action no more talking we need a course of action now people may not agree with what ice cube said in its entirety but i tell you what it's a course of action it's a way it's a start it's a beginning so i salute this brother for going ahead and taking the time to do something like this constructive not just dropping it on instagram not just talking on instagram but actually being about something this is dope i hope this gets a lot of attention and i'm glad that i read it all the way through for y'all if y'all want to go ahead and read it again y'all go ahead 
and check that out on Ice Cube's IG page. Go ahead and click the link in that description box and you'll check that out. Also, hey, just run this video back. I read the full thing in its entirety and you guys can also read it as well. Man, it's the Sandman Viral Hip Hop News. Hope y'all got some great information. Let's have some great debate and some great dialogue about what we read. I'm out, man. Peace.